Hey everyone, it's been a minute. Now, I haven't posted anything on my YouTube channel for a good five years, so first of all, I want to apologize for seemingly falling off the face of the earth. But I'd also like to thank all of you who've stayed around and even welcome some of you who've found the channel since. I have a couple things to update you all on, so I'll get right into it. First, where did I go? Well, the last video I posted was in May of 2018, and not long after that I entered college, and who would have guessed it, engineering school takes up a lot of time. No one told me that going in. <laughs> I'm kidding, but yeah. I started out playing with trains, and then after five years and two degrees, I'm a big boy engineer. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Second. What's the deal with my series? So way back in 2017, I announced I was filming a wooden railway series by the title of Really Useful Railways. I started writing it nearly 10 years ago at this point, and since then I've written nearly four seasons worth of content. Not all of them are finalized, but at least two seasons are fully scripted, and two more seasons are in the story treatment stage. Meanwhile, I started filming Season 1 in 2017, and continued into 2020. I encountered a motivational issue that I'm sure many creators feel, where the more I wrote, the less interested I felt in finishing my older projects which seemed less flashy and less professional than my more recent writing. So it was a bit of a vicious cycle of writing too much and filming too little. But when you're in college, it's a lot easier to write a story for an hour or two as opposed to find a place outside to set up an elaborate wooden railway set and film for eight hours to get the footage that you need. So, by 2019, I filmed about 90% of my season one. And then my computer, where I housed all of my videos, died. And for two months, I thought my series was dead in the water and I had to come to terms with the fact that I'd either need to start completely from scratch, or abandon the project altogether. Thankfully, by the end of the year my computer was fixed and my data was saved. But by this point my interests had begun to shift a little, to something a little more tangible. But I'll come back to that. Now the question I get asked most frequently is, is it cancelled? To that, I have to say no. I would love for the stories that I've written to be put to film again, but not before they receive another draft or two. I have a feeling that the stories that I wrote when I was 15 might not hold up so well as I've developed as a writer. I've also toyed with the ideas of taking some of the story scripts for plots that aren't directly tied to the story of my series and releasing those for others to adapt. I'd need to gauge the interest on that and touch up these stories in particular, but ultimately yes, I would like to continue to work on my series, but I know it will have to be a little while before what I've filmed is ready for any sort of release. Finally, what have I been up to, and what's next? Now, for those of you who know me just from this channel, you might have noticed that I feature some custom-made rolling stock in my videos. Well, for just about as long as I've been working on my series, I've been making wooden railway customs. And since 2020, making my own custom engines and custom rolling stock has really been my main art form in this community. For those of you that follow me on my Twitter account, you'll know that I post frequent pictures of my most recent projects. You can find me, at the LMS Engine, if you want more regular updates on what I'm working on. As for the future of the channel, I do have an announcement, and it's one that I think I can make a commitment to. As I've been making my customs, many people have asked how I make my models and if I can show them off in some way. And so, I'm very happy to announce my Wooden Railway Model Showcase Series, Arthur's Custom Corner. Thank you to Domeless Engine for that name. With this series, I'll be presenting the customs that I've made over the years and talk about particular building or painting techniques that I've used and any fun stories associated with these models. There have been a number of models of mine that have changed over the years, so I imagine I'll have a lot to talk about. 
Some storied models include Jock, Talithlin, and of course, my scratch-built Coldyfell engines. There are customs that I've made that are all part of a collection, like the A4s or the Bluebell Railway engines. So some of them may have a whole series of short videos dedicated to them, or maybe one long-form collection video for the full set. And there are some models that just I might not have that much to talk about. So maybe they'll be lumped together, or more short-form videos? We'll see. Regardless, the first few videos will be a means of figuring out the format of this series. I also intend to make a large custom collection video, so I can show all of my current models and then you all can have some say in which ones you want to see videos on. I really do hope that you all have as much fun learning about my customs as I did making them. I'd love to share what I've learned over the years and maybe encourage someone who's always wanted a certain engine or piece of rolling stock to make it themselves. That's why I started and I'm always inspired by the amazing art that the incredibly talented members of this community can make. And with that, that's just about everything. I don't have a strict schedule for putting out these videos yet, as I'm still figuring out the format, but I've already begun working on a couple of them. So, I look forward to the future. This is Arthur the LMS Engine, signing off. <laughs>